Hey guys, your Raptor here with a special Raptor news episode about game trailers. I'm now in London for a press trip for IGN Metalux, so I'm not able to record the latest news. So I thought let's go in depth on why game trailers was one of my favorite video game websites. I have to admit I did not visit the game trailers website as much last year as I did before, but I still checked out some of their shows on YouTube. Yes, I was part of the problem, I mean, they had some views on YouTube, but that does not pay the bills for a huge company with a lot of people working there. The final bossman from Kyle Bossman was my favorite show of the bunch. It gives an incredible and funny insight in the gaming industry. It also has some crazy background story with a German look-alike and talking toys, but that just made it great. It was original, it was fun, he had some yeah interesting thoughts on the trends in the gaming industry. It's a really an inspiration for me. I liked game trailers more a few years ago when I would watch way more shows than just the final bossman and sometimes listen to their podcast. Uh, it was the golden age. They had Marcus Beard as the annoyed gamer raging on different subjects and they also had the pack attack with Michael Pachter with always different uh, interesting insights in the gaming industry. Maybe not all of them were right but he still saw the industry from a very financial different perspective and that was really awesome to see. Also the bonus round was brilliant where Jeff Keighley, you may know him now from the Game Awards, would invite guests from the gaming industry, developers, journalists, personalities, all sorts of people to talk about trends in the gaming industry. For example, uh, when the E3 would happen, they were just going to speculate on what they think they would saw. And because all those people came from different places, they all had different insights and different perspectives and that was very interesting to watch. I want to give a big applause for the in-depth reviews with amazing voiceover. <coughs> Woo! They were 8 minutes long sometimes but you got very well informed about the game. For example the IGN video reviews are more like a summary of the written review um, and this was really the written review in video format. So really in-depth, really well uh, written, yeah like I said great voice. One of the best things they ever made is the King of Gaming tune before the PlayStation 4 reveal event. I still listen to it every time the E3 is near or a Sony press conference to get me hyped up. It's, it's really fantastic. You see different voices from Sony, quotes meshed together in a song. Rich Racer! Uh, you should watch it. I, I got a sample here, but I put a link in the description, so check it out. Because every gamer is a true gamer. Everyone, everyone. Gamer, gamer. Every gamer is a true I will miss the sites, well mostly the people because they were very energetic, really well informed. They really, it, it was really their passion, you saw that in everything. So I hope they will land on their feet. Um, share your game trailer memories please with me via social media. Maybe I will not see them right now but yeah, just tell them to me. I, w I want to know your thoughts on game trailers. Well, thanks a lot for uh, listening or watching this yeah, special Raptor news. I'm now in London for a press trip for IGN Benelux. I will be back tomorrow with a Rior game show, of course, and a new Raptor news with the latest gaming news. So look forward to that. It would be great if you could like this video or subscribe to the Your Raptor YouTube channel, my SoundCloud or iTunes, everything else. Thanks a lot um, and I will speak to you tomorrow.